What's going on, fellow viewers? This is Figure Review 411 coming back at you again with a BST action, action figure, Super Shredder, extra large with the Coke. Totally kidding. Point is, I've never bought figures from this company. I just saw it on Instagram once and I was like, wow, this guy looks sick. And at the moment, I actually wanted a Shredder, so that was actually kind of a coincidence. And what better figure to have than this one? He's uh, very nice. Very nicely designed. I never like the um, NECA because NECA is known to just take a crap on you and break in pieces and whatever. Now, and their the sculpt was kind of rough. It was just delicate. Delicate stuff when it comes to, um, to the NECA stuff. So seen here, BST is this company here. Big old gigantic box he comes in. Okay. He gets 31 points of articulation, a very nice amount of accessories. I mean, this thing is amazing. And I guess it was uh, exclusive to Amazon, made by the Loyal Subjects, which are based out in um, Los Angeles, I think. I don't know. Like I said, I've never, I don't know these people's stuff. I have never really seen any of their things, or I've seen them, but never the size I wanted. So this guy is a fair... Very, pretty much really big figure. Very, very huge. He has a problem standing because this leg is wonky as hell and it does fall off. Now, right now, it's not going to fall off, but this guy could do the splits for sure. He could split, kick forward that far. Really nice uh, bend at the knee. And he swiveled it. No. He gets the uh, thigh cut. So that's really good. Swivel at the ankle. All this is pliable, so don't be afraid to break it because it's not going to happen. It's very nice. Very, very nicely detailed. Very nicely uh, sculpted. Uh, the hands swivel. The wrist. Double jointed elbows. Good amount. Goes this far forward. I mean, to the side. Not so much, but it's okay. Uh, you get that bias, uh, bicep swivel. You know, look at that. That's the butterfly joint. Head. Nothing up or down, not so much. It's okay, not so much. But it does get a swivel. You get a, a bit of a waist twist, not a lot, but you get that far back, this far forward for the waist. So that's still not bad. This is the whole sculpt of it. It's cool, it's pretty huge. But like I said, leg, wonky as hell. Stand him up, hopefully he stands, not sure. Just to get that size comparison going, because man, he's, he's massive, man. I'm really curious to see how well he stacks up. Holy moly. Yeah, here he is next to the DC 7-inch scale line. Look how he leaves him behind. This is like 9-inch figure. He's probably going to be as tall as your SH figure arts Carnage. I think Carnage is about this tall. I don't own him. He was too expensive to pick up. That's no way I'm going to be shouting out, throwing out $140 to $50 just for a figure. Which looks really cool. But yeah, no, I'll wait for uh, um, the sales to start kicking in sometime. Probably... Uh, October, they're gonna have a sale over at Amazon, so I don't know. We'll see what how that goes. Freaking Captain Adam can't stand for crap. But yeah, I've been recently getting into the seven inch stuff, which is these guys stuff. I mean, uh, McFarlane's starting to choose characters that I like a lot, so I'm going, I'm going all in for that one. So yeah, that's how far he he uh, he stands, he scales with this one. Let's get a Legends in, which is gonna leave the Legends in the dust for sure. Yeah, yeah. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at that. You know, he, 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 he could face him off as a villain or something. I don't know. I mean, he could be a gigantic intergalactic villain from space, a space samurai. There you go. That'd be cool. Here he is next to the Black Series. These are way tinier. Way tinier. Look at that. My goodness. Yeah, he's really. <laughs> He's really huge. And about, let's get the last comparison in. Another Legends. But this time it's going to be the Deluxe. There you go. There it is. There is the matchup right there. That's equal challengers. Ready to kick the crap out of each other. There you have it. This guy will probably, for sure, most likely fit in with your Storm Collectibles action figures. He would probably look really cool with the Mortal Kombat action figures. <laughs> now that I think of it, he would look really cool. Well, there he goes, tipping over. So yeah, he's roughly about 9 inches tall. Okay? 
it comes with a crap load of things. First, it comes with this little label here. Not that it's useful, but whatever. He comes with this weapon. I don't know what it is. He comes with this gigantic, awesome looking sword, which I actually want to fit in his hand and see how the hands turn out. So let's do it on camera. Oh, God, don't break on me. Okay, so all that's pretty pliable actually. The hands are pretty pliable, so it's easy to put on. Now, let's see if it's easy to peg on, all right? Okay, I just pulled the peg out now. There it goes. And I'm pushing the other hand in. Easy. Done. Very nice. Man, he looks cool. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. He looks menacing. Okay? Intimidating. Dangerous fella here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, baby. This is a prized possession now. Top 10 right here. Yeah, just joking. I don't know. I don't like to say that because there's always bigger fish. That's a great looking figure though. Wow. Very nice. He'll come with two other sets of hands. So like I said, you get the open hand. Then you get an open clawed hand. And then you get your civilian looking hands with no armor on. Uh, let's see. There's a swivel in this thing. There is. Okay, that's pretty... Rough, I didn't see that. So, back to articulation really quick. I guess it does have a hinge. I didn't I didn't know it had an hinge, but yeah, it does. Every hand has a hinge, just like that. In and out. That's all it's doing. And they're and the hands are really nice to uh they're really easily to remove. Very fair no pressure needed. But uh it comes with these glow in the dark pieces. I think they go on his wrist or his hands. You peg them in, there's an opening here. Yeah, there's like a an opening right here on the on the hand and I'm assuming it goes on this hand yeah it kind of works like that I think pretty cool pretty cool freaking loyal subjects really kick this one out of the park on this one like I said he has wonky joints and that's his only problem that's it that's the left leg too you see that crazy crazy now would i recommend picking him up uh yeah yeah i would i would he's only gonna cost you about 40 dollars i think if i remember correctly i think he's 40 bucks so he's not so bad for a gigantic awesome looking figure it's cool with very pretty uh pretty nicely smooth um articulation it's very nice i like it yeah nice awesome thumbs up baby keep the like